My name is David Redihoff. I'm 37 years old, and this is my farm. I'm a third-generation farmer here. I'll run it with my wife, Katie. We run a pig bed and breakfast, as funny as it sounds. We get them up in the morning, make as much noise as possible, get them out of the kennels, make sure they're drinking, make sure they're feeding, make sure they're healthy. And yeah, physically, it's, it's demanding. You need to be you're always active. You've got obviously good farm machinery that can do the heavy lifting, but you need to be on your feet constantly through the day, which is what I love about farming. So it was on a Thursday night under the lights down at the local rugby club and we've been playing touch rugby for you know about 40 minutes really enjoying it making some good breaks and um, yeah it was just a routine sort of inside pass from one of my friends and I was quite excited the trial line was in front of me and suddenly my knee just, just gave in and I just felt this pain went through my whole body uh, it was hard to really explain to anyone and it just shot up from my ankle to the, my head and I just collapsed on the floor and everything went blank as soon as it happened, I let the guys carry on the game of rugby and I was lying on the side with a nice pack on my knee um, and it just swelled up like a balloon. I thought, I can't have done my ACL. You know, it doesn't happen to everyone. So it's only professional sports when it happens to. So I just thought maybe I just twisted something. And being a farmer, I was like quite determined to keep going. So I drove myself home. The next 24 hours was quite painful. Although I kept hobbling around the farm, um, I thought I need to get seen to this. So. My wife drove me to the local hospital where they saw me and they did an x-ray and they said, nothing's broken, you can go home. I took their advice really um, and I did that for about a year and a half. I kept going back to playing a bit of rugby um, and I felt it go again, twice actually, and it stopped the click that something was seriously wrong. When I first met Professor Mackay, I felt real welcoming, he was really warm and thought he was a nice guy. He could relate to sport injuries because he's played sport himself. And he was had that, although very professional, quite a very relaxed sort of um, attitude as well. And he taught me through my injury and that he's obviously seen it all before and it's gonna be a routine job for him to do. And that really excited me because I've been previously told by um, NHS advisors that I may need six months off work um, and you know, that's not something I could have um, um, could have done with my work. So um, it was a real eye opener actually speaking to Gordon. The surgery actually was seamless. So I went up to Glasgow the morning of the surgery and essentially I got into my uh, the robe, um, we lay on a bed and was chatting away to the anaesthetist um, and uh, counted to 10 and I was asleep. Woke up a few hours later and my knee was fixed and I wasn't in any pain at all. Obviously the medication was still, still working, but I, I stood up straight away um, after my operation. I could walk around, no crutches. I never used the crutch and walking up and down the, uh, the corridor within two hours of the operation, which was staggering to be honest. I didn't expect it to be that, that, that efficient. I was looking forward to getting home and getting into rehab really. So actually it was like two weeks of in intensive icing and physio and I surprised myself but I was back up and doing farm work after two weeks um, so I was in the pigs obviously taking it easy but still from a point of view of um, getting up and about I was, I was overwhelmed by that actually. Working on the farm now 10 months after the operation it doesn't really affect me to be honest um, I'm 100% um, confident in my, my knee um, although it is probably even stronger than my other knee now um, and yeah day to day I'm just back onto the physical side of things on the farm, into machinery, out machinery, over fences, over gates, running around fields. Um, it, it doesn't affect me. Um, and um, yeah, I don't think about it anymore.